Welcome back to Diggins Garden Tech. I'm Farmer Tyler at The Grow House, and we're gonna check out some varieties that grow well in hydroponics. First is bib lettuce. This is the most popular hydroponic crop. Here we have about a four week old bib lettuce, and it's still got another two weeks to go. It should get a good bit bigger. And we'll harvest them and package them inside of a clamshell. And when they're harvested like that, they can actually last them about four weeks after harvest. It's almost double the length of a cut head of lettuce. So that's our, our main crop of the grow house, a very easy to grow hydroponic crop. I would definitely suggest it for beginners. It can take a lot of abuse. A, another fun crop for beginners is Swiss chard. Swiss chard is really fun to grow because its roots match its stem color. It does some crazy, crazy things. Swiss chard is actually related to beets. Just like beets, Swiss chard will have red roots or yellow roots, depending on the stem color of the plant. Some will actually have two colors growing together so you could have sort of like a technicolor roots. Another fairly easy green to grow is kale. Here we have two different types of kale. This is blue curled kale and a red Russian kale. We also grow Toscano kale. This is a red oak leaf lettuce. The oak leaves sometimes are a little bit more susceptible to, to pest problems. Aphids love them, but I also love them. They're slightly tastier. They're a little bit sweeter than most lettuce. We grow a lot of other varieties at the grow house. One of them is purple bok choy. Purple bok choy is really popular. We sell it to Marzix, and you often see it bundled up. Bok choy has generally a, a big base at the bottom. It's really popular for stir fry and Asian cooking. And a relative of bok choy is tatsoi. Tatsoi is similar, except for you, instead of a large base, you have a lot more fine leaves. And some crops, like herbs, have special requirements. Here we tried to grow cilantro in the same system that we grow our bib lettuce and kale and Swiss chard. And it obviously did not do too well. It's very small. Here we have some cilantro we grew in another system, and it did pretty well. Cilantro has different feeding requirements and different moisture requirements. A uh, plant that does grow well in an NFT system or in most hydroponic system is basil. Basil is a, a lot easier hydroponic crop to grow than cilantro. The most common herbs grown hydroponically are basil, mint, and watercress. Watercress is very easy and so is mint. They love water. Basil likes to dry out a little bit more than those two. Herbs generally require slightly more food than than lettuce, so you have to feed them at a higher EC, and they also prefer slightly more acidic water. So that's herbs. Now let's go look at something slightly more challenging, peppers and tomatoes. Here we have an organic hydroponic tomato trial. Tomatoes are already a challenging crop, and here we're trying to grow it organically using a molasses-based fertilizer. But the reason why tomatoes are a challenging crop to grow hydroponically is they often require different food at different stages of their growth. So when they're young, you might need to feed them a certain formula. Then as they start to produce flowers and fruit, then you need to change up their feeding regimen. The same is, is true with cucumbers and peppers and these other large fruiting vegetables. They also grow for a lot longer. A hydroponic tomato is often grown for about nine months. And that's a long time to maintain a crop, so it becomes susceptible to foliar diseases, root diseases, and trying to keep a plant healthy for nine months is slightly more challenging than a lettuce crop, which is only about seven weeks. Here we have some organic strawberries. These are being grown in coconut core, or recycled coconut husk. Strawberries are a challenge to grow because they don't like to get their crown wet. They also are really sensitive to salt buildup which can happen pretty frequently in hydroponics, or at least in conventional hydroponics. Organic, or hydroponic strawberries are gonna have a bigger role in the future of strawberry production, especially as uh, soil fumigants such as methyl bromide have become illegal over the last couple of years. So expect to see more hydroponic strawberries, but it is a challenge. Thanks for joining me at the grow house and checking out the crops that we grow. If you have questions or you wanna learn more, Feel free to follow the link and you could take a class with me at the Grow House and learn about our crops or an expert in your area. Oh.